Hello, sixth grade. Um, today we're going to talk about scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way to write really big and really small numbers in an easier way. Because a lot of times really big numbers and really small, small numbers have a lot of zeros um, at the end of them or at the beginning after the decimal. And these numbers can become hard to write, especially if you're a scientist, for example, and you're writing them over and over and over again. For example, the speed of light is, so, I mean, I got my commas there, so I can tell it 300 million meters per second. The mass of a dust particle is 0.000000000753 kilograms. These numbers are hard to write and hard to read, too. Each of these numbers can be written in scientific notation. So the speed of light, instead of writing it as 300 million meters per second, I can write it as 3.0 or just 3 times 10 to the 8th power. The mass of a dust particle, particle can be written as 7.53 times 10 to the negative 10th power. Now, we won't deal with the negative exponents um, this year. That'll be something you'll deal more in 7th and 8th grade, but I just wanted to kind of show you that. So let's talk about how to convert a number from standard form to scientific notation. So the first problem here, I've got the number 137,000. Notice I wrote the decimal in at the end. That wouldn't be there normally, but I was having some, some formatting issues, so I just wrote it in. That would be the first thing I do is I put the decimal at the end. And when I'm trying to convert a number to scientific notation, what I want to do is I want to move that decimal so that I get a number between 1 and 10. So to move that number, to get a number between 1 and 10, um, I would move it between the 1 and the 3. So it would be 1.37. That would be a number that's more than 1. 1.37 is more than 1, and it's less than 10. So you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that decimal, I'm literally going to move it, and I'm going to count how many places I move it. So I move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places so that it is between the 1 and the 3. And now to write my answer in scientific notation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 1.37. All the zeros go away. That's the whole point. I'm writing a number with less zeros. But then I also need to say how many places I move the decimals. And I do that with a times 10, and since I moved it five places, to the fifth power. So I get an answer of 1.37 times 10 to the fifth power. Because every time I move a decimal place, that's like moving it 10. You know, I'm moving it from the ones to the tens to the hundreds, and each time is like a value is a place value of ten. So let's look at our next one: eight thousand, eight thousand. So my decimal point would be at the end of the number, and I would move it three places so that it's after the eight, because that would give me eight or eight point zero, which is between one and ten. Eight is between one and ten, so my decimal is now there. So my new answer is going to be eight or eight point zero. It doesn't matter what you wrote times 10 to the third power, because I moved the decimal three places. So now look at this bigger number here. Um, I'm not even going to try to read the number. It's 6453 with a whole bunch of zeros after it. So I'm going to, my decimal point, my decimal point is at the end of the number after all those zeros, and I'm going to move it between the 6 and the 4. So I get 6.453. So I move it, I count 10 places, so now I have 6.453 times 10, and I moved it 10 places, so it's to the 10th power. And that's how we convert a number from standard form to scientific notation. All right, let's look at three more. Okay, what I want you to do now is I want you to pause the video, and I want you to try to convert those three numbers to scientific notation. Once you've done it, you can check, unpause the video, and check the answers that I'm going to put up right now. So again, pause it. All right, if you haven't paused it, I'm going to, or I'm going to right now, I'm going to give the answers. And there's the answers for each. So the first one, you moved it six places. So it was 7.9 times 10 to the sixth power. The second one, I mean, that was a small number, 124. You move it two places. So 1.24 times 10 to the second. And the last one, you move it 11 places. So it's 4.8 times 10 to the 11th. All right, that is the end of part one.